Hey TYT, it's me, Josh Gibbs, here with another exciting installment of Soccer Report? I don't know what we want to call this. Well, let's call it Soccer Report, the hell with it. Anyway, yeah, I am driving. I'm driving home from work. Bet you expected this video to be some kind of high-tech thing with a lot of graphics and maybe a neat-looking desk behind me to try to look all professional. Look, I'm trying to do this off the cuff, all right? So the hell with it. Anywho, today was Mexico versus Brazil. You know what? I think I've said plenty of times before I don't watch soccer. However, I did watch this game. Okay, you know what? That was a lie. I watched parts of it. And, and I got to tell you, it was pretty exciting. I think the most exciting part was all the shots on goal that the Mexican guy kept blocking. The Mexican goalie, I don't remember his name. It's not important. It's at this point that if this was a higher production video and I wasn't literally holding my iPhone while I'm driving home, that I would include the clip from the Lord of the Rings that says, you shall not pass, because that's pretty much what that game was. I mean, it ended 0-0, which, let's be honest, is another reason why soccer is not all that exciting. When the game can end not only in a tie, but with nobody scoring and people are actually happy about it. What kind of sorcery is this? All right, this is supposed to be a game where people win and score, and then there's a winner and all that stuff, but we didn't have any of that. We just had a big defensive stop on both sides of, of the, the pitch. I was about to say the field. Somebody's going to probably yell at me later. But either way, it was pretty exciting. I, I will admit that. You know, the times when they were at least close to the goal, everything else was not so much. It was just a lot of the running and the tripping and, and the, the, the flopping and the hey, hey. But uh, I guess if you're from Mexico or Brazil, it was pretty exciting. They kept cutting into shots of the crowd. And uh, as always with the World Cup, they didn't show any of the unattractive Brazilian women, which is pretty nice. I don't even think there are any. So, I mean, that was pretty cool. So, anywho... That's your soccer update for today. I didn't do one uh, over the U.S. victory, only because I just, uh, it's kind of hard to get into the whole patriotic thing and everyone chanting USA and saying how proud they are to be an American as if they weren't proud the day before, but then their soccer team beat another soccer team and uh, therefore they can be proud now. And if they would have lost, they wouldn't have been proud. Is that is that how this works? I don't really understand. I don't, I don't know how nationalism works when it comes to soccer and, and not rooting for teams that, that don't win but either way hey the u.s beat ghana which is pretty unprecedented uh from what i've been told by people who know this stuff better than i do anywho go usa uh go brazil and mexico apparently uh i, I don't know how that's gonna work uh you know these are things that a sports reporter should probably know and you know what if you guys pick me, which would still be a really good idea, I'll do. I'll actually do homework on these things. You know, won't do them while I'm driving home either. So, don't think that this is going to be a standard way of reporting. You know, unless you want a cool on the street kind of interview style where I interview people and ask them about soccer. I mean, and, and then we kind of ambush them. I mean, we don't want to. We don't want to make them scared or us or anything. But you know, that's what TYT is all about: getting the pulse of the people, right? Yeah. Anyway. All right, well, say hi to Anna for me. She's still really hot. So is Gina. She's awesome. And uh, Jank, of course, you know, you're attractive in your own way, too. But you're a married man, so I'm, I'm not going to break up your family. Anyway, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Talk to you later.